One thing I've always been inspired by is engineering and pushing materials to their limits. What would happen if a piece of metal got planted into the ground and grew up? There's no real point in solving climate change unless we do it in a way that doesn't increase inequality within society. Doing things in the community is a big thing for me and um, being part of society again. It's really what I've got to say before. This project, it's what I believed in as a child before I started all my addiction. So I was quite a green loving person really. <laughs> Because of climate change, we want to increase people's engagement with energy. So by making energy more tangible, by running uh, workshops where people make solar panels and they kind of get their hands dirty, as it were, um, they can understand what voltage is, what current is, what power is. So by making a very cheap uh, solar panel that's uh, therefore accessible to lower incomes, um, you can enable uh, a greater equality of access to renewable technology. We're always trying to look for ways of engaging the public in more interesting ways. So by trying to do something a bit more sculptural, a bit more artistic, we can engage people more, get people more interested. You know what Bristol's like, you sort of start putting something out there and like these sort of like synchronous moments happen where someone goes, oh, I actually know someone who's thinking about making a solar tree too and that turned out to be John. I wanted to do a, a more organic form, very much a free-form sculpture. The way I've styled it, if you like, aesthetically, is, is as a, a tree bending in the wind, but then attempting to sort of move towards the sunlight. The really, really big challenges came when trying to translate a very organic thing to metal components. Metal comes in straight lines. So to then take those and put three-dimensional curves in all of them and try and make the whole transitions from, from the big fat base, that is quite tricky. This is where the workshop meets, meets the artist's studio. And it's, it's difficult to find people who can span these worlds. So the team I've had around me have been brilliant at this. We're delighted to be hosting this stunning tree. And at Bristol, everything we do is about um, making science accessible to all. We also do a lot of work to make the organisation greener. And science is key in solving that. And science is what we're all about. The tree makes energy, and the energy can be used to charge your phone. It also gives you free Wi-Fi. Lastly, we want it to be interactive, because that's what we do here. So next to the tree, there's a panel you can experiment with and play with. Uh, and that's another way to learn about solar energy. The Bristol Drug Project is a, is a community drug project. We provide a whole range of services, people coming in with um, chaotic drug problems through to much later stages of recovery. And this sort of project really helps with that. And it, it fills the gap. If you, if you take away drugs and alcohol, you're left with a gap. And somehow you need to fill that. It's about helping people feel part of something, feel valued, feel that they have got something to give. I've never really done anything like this before, so I did welding for the first time and just building the, the panels. I've, I've never done anything like that before. It's, it's all new to me. It's just been a really good experience from start to finish. I'd, I'd recommend it to anyone. It's, it's great. Beginning of September last year, I decided to um, address my drinking problems and my drug addictions, and I, uh, I did a, be uh, a detox through BDP. I'm scared of heights. I, I, and going up in a scissor lift and put, leaning over a bit, quite high up, for me it is, and I'm um, putting it over and leaning over and this is gonna hopefully power someone's mobile phone so they can chat to their friends. Yeah, help, help me conquer my, a little bit at a time, my f fear of heights and without a drink or a drug. Without, you know, and that's success. I'm glad Bristol's a green capital of the year and um, I want to be part of it, you know? I want to lead a better life, not the life I lived before. And, um, you know, renewable energy is a way of the future. It is a way of the future.